Nice. All right. You got the waste starter on the air left handrail. And I got that. Fairly. So the International Space Station just crossed the Terminator line fully into an orbital daytime. Should provide a pretty spectacular view for these two as they translate to their first work sites. Alex, as you're moving up towards the front face, uh, just a caution for you. Just avoid contact with the TUS reel cable. Hey, wheels. Go ahead, sir. I see the arrow with these strike on it. Zero on the cedar rail. Choose zero on the Okay, I'll just translate and feed until I see the arm, which is already nicely positioned, I guess. Just to try to keep you up with everything, so Wiseman uh, mentioning the RET, uh, it's a retractable equipment tether. I could possibly go to the Nader handrail, but even that's a little tight. To the Nader part of that handrail, I mean. Checking read, stand by. Copy. I don't think I have to. The WIF standing for our worksite interface. It's going to assist uh, GERS in setting up this uh, portable foot restraint onto uh, the station's robotic arm. Okay, we also, I'm going to put a ret on the, the front flap of this, and then I'll bring the ret around to the back of the shroud. I'll see how that works, if that's all right with you. Yeah, we're good with that. So Alexander Gerst has the pump module. He's reorienting it to 180 degrees, so it's in the proper uh, configuration for installation once he arrives at the external storage platform which is going to be his next stop on the end of this uh, space station robotic arm. Towards the right corner, you can see the empty MLI tent primed and prepped for the uh, arrival of this pump module. I get a good view in that big MLI tent right now. About 80% of it, and that looks so good. So Gers repositioning his hands on the pump module, getting to uh, the bottom where the nadir uh, the earth-facing side of it is going to need to get on that angle in order to uh, help guide it in. Very good peak down. Reed Wiseman getting positioned rail. himself to help call out commands to Wilmore as they get ready to move the pump module in. And I'm ready for next step. So in one meter to go. Uh, yes, there's a U.S. lab behind me. That's why I could go no further port. Uh, I think I'm ready. I may need to work on body position, but uh, give me the settings. And that was four turns, wheels, and it looks the uh, bolt's nice and free. I can turn it with my hand, so that looks good. Okay, nice work. Copy that. That's the work, wheels. Okay, there completes the act. Now we're going to take you um, uh, Zenith. Here we go. Everything going uh, by the book, not tracking any issues. Uh, still have to unlock the pan tilt mechanism on the camera itself. Following that, he'll be able to uh, back off uh, on the space station robotic arm. This will be his last task on the robotic arm. So Reed Wiseman in place now over at the mobile transporter getting ready to install the relay assembly. Perfect, thanks. And I'm showing about a meter and a half, do you agree? Uh, Butch, uh, just remind me, this is uh, flying to pub, not the GCA, right? Had a quick view of the Dragon spacecraft there. You can see it on the top left corner here. Right next to it, the robotic arm in its park position. Gers is going to head back to the airlock and stow the uh, bag with the failed CP-13, camera port 13 light in it. 